So a friend of mine sent me this part. Uh, and he wanted me to write a baseline to it. So I figured I'd go through and show you guys the process of like getting an audio file and like finding the tempo and the key and actually putting something together in Reaper. So let's go All do right, that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, find the tempo of the song. So by default, my tempo is set to 80 beats per minute, and we can play that back to the track I was given. It sounds out of time, like this. Yeah, so obviously the metronome isn't in time. So first I'm going to turn change one of my settings really quickly. Uh, okay. So what you can do like really easily in Reaper is uh, tap in the beats per minute if you can't like guess it right off the bat. Like to me this sounds like around like 120, something like that. So like you, you tap in the beats per minute and it'll like synchronize up to the track. So, so and when you do that you want to uh, turn off the metronome. So you don't hear it like changing as you tap in the tempo. So you hit play. Alright, so now I'm gonna enable the metronome again. Play it back. That seems close. This is like what 124. So let me take it down to 123. See how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. So, the next thing I'm going to do is figure out, try and figure out what key it's in. Now, my bass is in like drop C sharp or something. It's like a half step down and then that's it. Yeah, it's not in regular tuning. So, like, don't try and like look at my finger and be like, oh, that's not the key he says he's in. It's in a different tuning or whatever. So, uh, let me go through and listen to this. This sounds like it's in D or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's definitely in D. So, now that I have, you know, the tempo synced up, and I know what key everything is in, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and like start like playing ideas. Usually what I like to do with the bass line is just follow an octave below like the rudiments that are being played and then like add in like little things. So I'm just gonna Okay, so I pretty much know like the, the thing goes like So that's generally going to be like the bass line that I play But the thing is like you want to add in something a little bit extra But then I don't want to add in like too much So that it's over the top So uh, I'll probably, let me see Yeah, 
Sorry, chill for a second. I have to rest. I'm thinking of something like thinking of doing an idea like that. So now that I have the key, I have an idea, I got the tempo, uh, I'm gonna go back in, put the pre-roll in on the metronome, and record some stuff. Okay. So right now, this is, yeah, this is record enabled. And the sound I have is just, uh, I just use Vox Ingo Book X, it's like an app plugin. And then I have, uh, an uh, impulse from a bass cab. And that's like pretty much the sound that I'm getting or whatever. So let me go through and record something. So yeah, let me listen back to that. sounds okay so pretty much what I would do after this is like go through actually try and play it like perfectly without any uh, flaws any issues or whatever and then you just get he asked me for like an eight bar kind of loop so I'd go to you know the section where it ends or whatever like probably somewhere around here or here I'm not sure exactly and then cut it off and then just send him this region oh what am I doing yeah, oh, oh, again, again, okay, yeah, cut it off here, then disable this track and just send him this back, uh, and when it's all done, I'll probably put a link in the description. Alright, thanks for watching, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Jamal Mortimer, and I'll see you guys in another video.